Hello, this is Jim from TechBoss. I'm going to give you a video review of the Yale Smart Living All in One Outdoor Camera with full 1080p HD. And basically, uh, today I don't have the camera on me because it's actually fixed onto the wall outside, properly mounted. And there's an Android app and iOS app. And basically, just to go over some of the features again, it's waterproof, IP65, sign alarm, 110 decibels. Um, which you'll hear that in, in a separate clip. You've got a built-in spotlight. Now this is actually very cool and you can set the adjustment on it for the brightness because it will actually blind you if you look at it, which isn't a bad thing. And a motion detection. So when you get a detection, you get a notification on your device and when you open up the notification, it brings you straight to the live camera and from then you can save it and so on. So I'm just gonna go through the app itself now and as you can see there is the app there now so in here you've got your play and pause you've got your split screens here sd card for local storage so any clips you save you can save directly to your phone which is handy and then you have the option to widen it up like that which is pretty cool so in the app itself then you have other functions here so you've got you can take a picture you can speak you can record set the alarm off and turn on the light which is excellent and in the settings here you can set your activity zones so when you open up the app you can go in here and set your zone or clear your zone what area you want covered which is simple so then you have your spotlight setting on your alarm. So in your alarm, you have motion sensitivity, spotlight activation, PIR, and motion detect, as you can see. So you can toggle between these on or off, um, depending on what time of day it might be or whatever. So it's up to yourself. In the alarm, um, on the spotlight setting, you have brightness of up to one to four. And it's pretty cool, pretty bright as well. And you'll see that with me actually in a night clip with it going on. And that's pretty much it in the app. So then you have your recording schedule then, which you can set up yourself, your storage status, your time zone, rotate image, and the voice indicator. So you have the voice photos, your name, so you can rename that and so on, and whatever the case may be. So I've just let them start by default. And that's really about it on the app itself. And to just simply get in here, then you have your device, your message, and me. So your my device, local files, and your settings, and you can log out. Your messages there. So I've seven alerts as you can see. So this is where your alert will come. And then if you just go into the voice again, if you just tap onto it, it'll just bring it into the live feed. So that's basically a walkthrough of the app. Um, which is run alongside several other devices I have here, like I've got Simply Safe of Arlo and D Link. So, all these um, cameras are going to run at the same time here. But that's it for the app in general. But overall, um, the product is pretty good. Um, very Works very well, hasn't let me down. It's got good features built in, and you can actually see as well. I'll just give you actually a quick look. This is what it'll look like in the dark with the LED lights there. And then if you turn on the actual light itself and the video footage then is here. So that's a night clip there with the light on. And that's a video clip there. And then we have a day one as well, just to give you a look at the difference between night and day and what to expect. The footage is pretty good. Picks up the sound excellent as well around locally. So it's um, got a pretty good listening um, experience on it too. So if you start recording or anything like that, or record something that picks up basically everything that's within 30, 40 feet, I'd guess uh, what's going on, so your neighbors and so on. So you can <laughs> eavesdrop if you want, but not something we like to do, but it's just something that I know is in testing and it's very good. So. That's basically what you're looking at here. These will come into your phone underneath um, the video. So that's pretty cool. 
And then after that, then um, we're going to show you some of. We'll show you these clips in action and what they look like and what you're going to see yourself if you do decide to get it. But overall, the product's pretty good for the price. Can't complain. Easy to mount up on the wall. A simple setting up process and you can't really go wrong the fact that it's outdoor and it's waterproof and um, it's a bit on a big side now for a camera compared to some of the ones I have here but that's not a bad thing you know people see something like that they're just gonna not bother so that's the probably whole idea but as I said you just four screws to mount onto the wall you can just take it on and off then at your choice you can move it around I put this in the back as I have the front covered already and it just simply connects to your Wi-Fi and then if you're out and about and you need to check around and you get notifications and said but you can still go through your 3G and 4G and um, same for checking live feeds when you're on the go so that's really it very good product very robust and solid I like the idea that it's got the built-in spotlight as well which is really helpful and again the motion detection and this works as well in the dark a few moths have actually set this off as well so you just might want to turn the sensitivity down a bit depending um, it's the first time I've had moths actually since I moved into the new house so it's the first for me for moths to trigger off this system but nonetheless it means it's working and working pretty well so again it's just small little things like that that might annoy someone but again you can turn the sensitivity down and that's basically it any other questions hit me up at techbuzzorn.com and stay tuned after for video clips of this in action with night and day footage. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and thanks to Yale Smart Living for letting us check this out. We'll drop a link below to where you can buy it. So this is Jim, is giving me a quick test now on the spotlight setting and the alarm. So I'm going to start with the alarm and some more. Spotlight and the voice. Get out of that garden. Hello, this is Jim doing a daytime test on the Yale Smart Cam. How does it look?